this tiny little building could be a huge addition to Clash of Clans. Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or of course, if it's your first time here, thank you guys so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Today, yes, we are discussing the possible leak, the possibility of a second builder coming to Clash of Clans, and this comes to us via the well-known website Opegit, I'm probably mispronouncing that studio, O-P-E-G-I-T studio, and they recently had this image up amongst some others of a possible image of a second builder that would be added to the builder's base. Now, of course, you guys know that the builder base only has one builder, and that probably is one of the two primary complaints of all players who have played the new update, that being either the loot cap comes too soon, only three attacks a day, or the lack of a second builder. You see the builder hut? Well, it was there. It was built into the top of the builder hall. It's kind of on the second story. So there is not even a builder hut in the game right now. So the idea of seeing this image tells us that somewhere, perhaps in the game files, maybe not, maybe this is some graphic artist's representation of what it would look like, there could be a second builder coming. Now it would only make sense considering that right now we've got builder hall five which is still relatively small, but has room to grow. I mean, look at the size of the battlefield over here. There is plenty of room once we clear those obstacles and the grass and a few miscellaneous statues. There's plenty of room to put something more interesting down, more walls, more defenses, new buildings. Obviously, we've got the Mega Tesla, the Roaster, and other structures and troops coming. So it would make sense that we saw this. Now, this is a close-up look at what is either a leak or an artist's rendition. Now, it doesn't look really anything like the home village builder's hut, but it does look a lot like the builder's hut that is kind of on top of the builder hall that you see in most battles these days. So let me know what you guys think about adding this to the game. I feel like right behind adding more loot, this would be a big help. Uh, maybe only two builders though. I think that two might be enough. Okay, obviously uh, We'd be happy with five, but maybe for now. Let's not you know give them an inch and take a mile type of thing Let's be happy if they do consider adding a second builder to the game. It would definitely speed things up It's very frustrating to have one Structure underway and not be able to upgrade another especially when you're hoping to get those upgrades in between the loot cap So maybe it's coming who knows Again, let me know down below in the comments if you guys think this is an actual thing or if this is fake. I can't tell you either way because I honestly don't know. So we just have to wait and see what comes in future updates. You know they can't be that far away. Obviously, a lot of content already slated, already created to be added to the game. So right here, we've got some maxed out Builder Hall 5 action. Uh, I am defending and yes, this was one of my earlier iterations of a base that, well, after a few of these three-star losses decided maybe this just wasn't the best base for me, and I went ahead and moved on. Crazy for you, uh, all or nothing, decided to take all of my base. But I'm not only on the receiving end of the occasional three-star, I can hand one out once in a while, usually without the use of dragons, although I would say that right now, especially at Builder Hall 5 and probably at 4, most of the three stars are coming via mass dragons. So this one, mass barbarians, I brought 30 barbs, and this is the raged barb charge strategy. Those guys are so strong. If you can avoid the crusher and you can avoid the mega mine, those are the two absolute antidotes to raged barbarians. Other than those two things, really the only other enemies, the spring traps, obviously, maybe smaller mines bunched together, and of course the multi-mortar, but oftentimes they can outrun that thing. Here comes another group that takes out the multi-mortar going on to the builder's hall with rage, and then a couple of them going to get crushed underneath the crusher, and that really is late game, the one structure you've got to worry about, especially at this stage, you can see we're about two thirds of the way through the village. Last of the barbs already deployed. It's up to the battle machine to try to get through the crusher. 
He can't quite do it, but check out the bomber right there and the barbarians. Lucky, lucky that the crusher was cycling up as they approached it. That was blind luck, I will admit it. And check out how close this comes. I've got just three barbarians left, no more defensive structures. And so sometimes a little bit of luck is better than skill in grabbing a three-star win. So it's kind of like at the home village when you're running any sort of queen heal. If the healers happen to be able to keep that queen up late in the battle, that's going to mean a three star. Kind of works out here as well. It oftentimes comes down to just one or maybe two defensive structures. Get those down and you're guaranteed a three star. It's just a matter of time and you almost never run out of time in a builder's village attack. So there's Galadon with the three star. We're going to move on one more time. And uh, here we're going to take a look at Yes, I got answered. So I three-starred this guy from CN1, CN.1, and he returned the favor immediately and without the use of rage with all these baby dragons. Moving in on the right-hand side, this attack really showed me the vulnerability of this base. If you'll notice, most of the anti-air is focused on the left, and the right-hand side has the firecrackers, but again, you guys, you hopefully are learning by now that firecrackers are nowhere near as potent as air defenses are back at home. So don't count on those to defend against baby dragons by any means. And right here, this attacker was just waiting to get these last couple of structures down. And then he's got the battle machine with all the time in the world back there to get through that outer maxed out wall. Doesn't matter at all. He used its ability first just to accelerate the damage right there. The last baby dragon goes down. And you would think that the remaining defenses would be enough to stop this one unit, a level 5 battle machine. But the single cannon, archer tower, and tesla are simply not going to be enough. So even at only level 5, this battle machine just wrecking stuff gets right through the builder's hall. And fortunately for the attacker, goes after the archer tower and the tesla next. Surprisingly out of range right here of that single cannon. A little bit surprised it wasn't able to shoot at it. There it's going to go, but again, at nearly 50% health and that regenerating ability, that makes all the difference in the world. That and this pathing, friendly pathing as the battle machine is going to again get outside of the range of the cannon for almost all of these structures you can see. It's going to turn to the right here, but then again, it's had time to regenerate. The ability is up one more time. There it is, back up to full health and going out of the range one more time, going after the Elixir Collector and right here. Even with a maxed out wall, not going to stop this guy. This is close, but with the ability increasing damage, he's gonna grind his way through that wall. Plenty of health, taking out the last defense and finishing a three star on a base of mine that, okay, a, a base of Itsu's that I copied that had not been previously three starred. And uh, yeah, so basically every base is three starable from what I've seen. Uh, if you have a maxed out or a Builder Hall 5 base that you swear cannot be three, please let me know. I would love to find it. I would love to use it. And of course, if it does work out for me, give you a shout out in a future episode because it's tough. Anti three star bases, not like they are back at home. So much smaller and right now, even at Builders Hall 5, we haven't seen anything higher released yet. They are still not that hard to three star. Although I would say, unless you're hitting about the global top 200 or the local top 200, you're not seeing a lot of three star attacks until you reach that level of the game. So right here, another fully maxed out village. A lot of players starting to go to this staggered wall layout two layers of walls sometimes broken on the outside rather than on the inside and that seems to be starting to slow down some of the three star attacks but then again it just comes down to a little bit of luck right here it's the very last structure left the crusher is in the way and it looks like we might have trouble getting through it but notice we've got bombers and the bombers will always outrange the crusher and another three star with units to spare right there over big mac 69. All right, you guys, thank you so much, as always, for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Leave me your comments down below. Send me your base designs. I want to use them in future episodes, highlighting excellent base designs from Builder Hall 3, 4, and 5. Until then, have a fantastic day. See you tomorrow. Full attack.
gone. You can't have my base designed. It's a secret. 